Okay, so this is our time to talk about what's on the agenda <clears throat> with Houston City Council. We examine it for you, we take a deep dive, and you, we tell you what it means for you at home. There's always an impact, right? We're popping always off. Popping off. What's popping off this week? Well, you know, it's, it's mysterious. Ooh. It's mysterious. We're going to get right to this agenda item, okay? And it's interesting. It's agenda item 43. It's an ordinance for mysterious shopping services of $875,000. Whoa, that is a lot of money. What does the city of Houston need with a mystery yeah. shopper? Right, it's not like you're thinking that someone from the city of Houston, like from the mayor's staff, is gonna go into like an HEB or the Galleria or something like that, or, see how the service. Yeah. But it's similar, okay? And it ties into the Houston airport system. And why do they do this out at the Houston airport system? And one word here, it's called compliance. They wanna ensure that businesses are keeping up with their end of the deal to ensure that proper customer service is going on at the airport. Now, Zach, this is important, why? Because the customer service experience that a person is receiving at the airport is the first or last point of contact that they've had with the city of Houston. So it's priority. So they want to make sure. They want to make yeah. sure that anybody coming into a city is truly understanding what our city is about and they're getting met with good service. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure that the people who are going into our airports. So you have this mysterious shopping program, which is not really out of the norm. They have these in other airports across the United States of America. And in this instance, this is an amendment. They've already approved this contract. It was approved back in 2018. But why are they allowing this contract to be amended? Well, because of COVID. And since you had COVID, you have to remember, at some points, you only had 82,000 people flying in the United States the entire day. Right. Usually it's about millions. Bingo. Yeah. So as a result of that, you didn't have stores that were open out at IAH and Hobby. We did tons of stories on this. Mm -hmm. So the mysterious shoppers really didn't have anything to do. So what they did was they pretty much silenced the program for two years. This is going before city council and they're asking it to be extended for two years, but the money's already been paid for. Yeah. And it's not taxpayers dollars here. It's different. People tend to think, oh, it's the city. You're right, of course. It's the enterprise fund. And what is this from? The enterprise fund is basically that every time you take off from Hobby or Intercontinental Airport, guess what? You are paying a PFC charge. That is called a facility charge in which the airports charge you and the airlines $4.50. It's a federal deal. It goes across at all airports. So $4.50 from every passenger for taking off adds up. adds up. So they take the money from that fund. Okay. This is, these are not city of Houston right. specific dollars. Right. They come from the city of Houston airport system enterprise People passing dollars. through whatever right yeah the pfc charge is there an award for this type of service believe it or not there is Ooh, baby the city of houston <laughs> has mysterious shopping awards and this is where it gets very interesting because remember that big food fight you oh, know yes. you had out at the yeah. airport the right right between that papa's group and this airs group remember how papa's was the one that was getting deemed by the city for a variety of different reasons even though they have made millions of dollars and as we exposed on kprc2 investigates there were some questions with regards to the proposal on areas, some of the things that they were claiming, and then we had obviously the chef, Chris Shepard, saying that's really not the case. Well, last year's awards, they just came out, conducted by the Mystery Shopper, and take a, take a guess at who won some of those awards. Oh my goodness. We're gonna look at them, all right? Here we go, let's go to the graphic number one. For the best full service look restaurant, that. it was Papa Do's Seafood Kitchen. Uh. So the Papa's group wins a best full service restaurant. But that's not all. Serve up the next one because they got the best bar too, Papacito's Cantina at Hobby Airport. Oh, I bet they're laughing until the cows come home. Uh, yeah, or they're toasting with some champagne <laughs> from the bar, right? And then the last one the is- margaritas. The best in quick service restaurant was Chick-fil-A. Okay. Uh, and that is actually tied to the Papa's group. So you have the mystery shopper here thinking very, very highly of the Papa's group, but of course they got the boot just a few months ago for their services. Very interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Very yes. interesting. Last question for you, sir. How much is on the table this week? Let's go. We have over, the graphics shows us that it's gonna be over $50 million that is being entertained in this 244 page wow. agenda. That's what city council will be examining. Again, like this week's mystery shopper agenda item, which is an ordinance, it's an amendment, but it was also a tag 
from last week okay. from Councilmember Knox. Remember the tag? We learned what a tag was if, early on. If you do a tag, it means you're kicking yep. the can down the road. That's what they did. So we'll see if any of those items get tagged on this week with regards to those $50 million. But that's how much is being examined this week within the city of Houston. You know, I love when you come on this show, just like Anthony's segment last, uh, within the last I'm not as good few as minutes. No, 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 no. You, you both are wonderful, <laughs> but you're very informative. And I think we need to come up with some sort of stinger that's like the more you know with the shooting star, the old NBC. Right. Well, you know, this is the point. You bring up a very good point because most people have no idea right. that this is happening within their city. This is and how this city government works. And this is stuff that impacts you, me, right. you. This impacts us. Absolutely it does. Yeah. And it doesn't just happen in our city in Houston. It happens in cities around the nation. And also it happens in other cities like Pearland, in Sugarland. Yeah. You, yeah. You, and I'm, what I'm trying to say here is you don't know what's being passed every week because most people aren't engaged. And that's what pop-off politics right there is all about. We're trying to bring you one agenda item every week so you have an understanding and a better idea as to how city government works. And keep in mind, some of the items that we've showcased, they've been tagged Yeah, because there were questions behind Which them. Which means they'll be coming up later on. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate oh, it. Um, you know, I was thinking as you were talking, when you were talking about, you know, this being priority when you go to airports, people traveling through and leaving a good taste in their mouth. Right. Uh, I, I, when, we, when I fly through uh, Atlanta, I hear the mayor. Do we do that at, at our airports? Do we hear you know, it, it, you know, Welcome it's, to it's, Houston? It's, it's funny. That's, it's a good point. I'll tell you that I haven't heard it when I've seen travel through Houston. But in Las Vegas, and I know this quite well, through their airport system, they actually have celebrities Oh, yes, yes, have, yes, who, you're right. Who have voiced videos yes. and have provided some sort of an announcements, right? I remember they used to have um, various individuals that did it, people right. that, entertainers in Vegas. Danny Gans, the late entertainer there, he was one of them. Huge entertainer in Vegas, huge. Everybody's sell doll at the win. He was one that used to have it, Carrot Top, and you see all these videos. You know, in Houston, it would be great. I, yeah. I, but, you know, that's something I have to examine. Yeah. I do know that we have a huge art program out at the airport. And yes, we do yes. Know, and we do know very well because... KPRC2 has investigated this yes. very heavily. There is the live music program out at the airport that we've had some questions about and that, but those are what we know that is going on. Well, if you in look into this, I'll propose that you do a Welcome to Houston by Mario Diaz. Well, the, that's <laughs> that's interesting because the Mario Diaz that runs the airport probably right. would say, wait a second, which Mario What's Diaz? What's going on? And, you know, we've, we've, we've obviously yes. have uncovered a lot of things about the airports. And of course, you can always see those stories. We're back selling this. Just go to click2houston.com in the investigate section and you'll find all the stories that we've awesome. done on the Houston airport system. Thank you, sir. All right.